Days. Now that's trickling down to schools. That's after Education Secretary Betsy DeVos made controversial comments about undocumented students during a hearing on Capitol Hill. As our Samantha Joe Roth reports, some educators and lawmakers are outraged. Some are even calling for DeVos's resignation. No educator is going to um, serve as an ICE agent. That's not our role. Uncertainty for undocumented students. That's what some school officials are saying in response to Education Secretary Betsy DeVos's comments. When asked if school officials should report undocumented students and their families to authorities during a congressional hearing this week. I think that's that's a school decision. It's a local community decision. And um, again, I refer to the fact that we have laws and we also are compassionate. Congressman Darren Soto says DeVos's comments send the wrong message to schools and teachers, and that could have chilling implications. I do think that this type of rhetoric can embolden people when this is a federal issue for ICE officers. Teachers should be teaching. That's what we want them to do, and kids should be learning in schools, period. Some lawmakers and advocates say reporting students could violate the Constitution pointing to a Supreme Court decision in the Plyler v. Doe case that bars schools from withholding services based on immigration status. As a former educator in Arizona, uh, I am receiving calls from former students. Is this true? Is it true that uh, schools can call ICE or anyone who suspects that there's an undocumented student can call immigration enforcement? Rocio Inclan with the National Education Association says the secretary's comments have set off widespread panic within immigrant communities. Now she's trying to set the record straight. The secretary's comments are reckless and dangerous and completely inaccurate. We reached out to the U.S. Department of Education and ask for clarification. They replied, writing in part, the secretary's position remains that schools must comply with Plyler, which is what she said in the hearing and all other applicable law and regulation. In Washington, Samantha Joe Roth, 